case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a landmark legal battle focused on the tricky realm of patent law, a significant patent was called into question. The U.S. patent in question, numbers 6,258,540, proposed a method for detecting paternally inherited nucleic acid from a fetal origin in a maternal serum or plasma sample from a pregnant female. But the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California took issue with the proposed method, viewing it as an attempt to patent natural phenomena, a violation of patent law. The case evolved when the United States Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit threw the initial ruling into question, vacating and remanding the case back to the district court in August 2013. They argued that the lower court may have made some misunderstandings in their initial judgment. At the heart of the matter is the Supreme Court's established framework in Mayo Collaborative Services v. Prometheus Laboratories, Inc., which seeks to differentiate patents that claim laws of nature and natural phenomena from those with patent-eligible applications of those concepts. The 540 patent was directed at a process involving naturally occurring CFF DNA and, as such, was accused of not containing a transformative concept substantial enough to merit a patent grant. However, despite the Court of Appeals on the Federal Circuit stepping in, the District Court held its ground. The original findings were reaffirmed. The steps for detecting paternally inherited CFF DNA were deemed routine, conventional, and well understood, an instruction to doctors more than an invention. The court also cited concerns about preemption, a term that refers to a patent blocking any possible use of a natural phenomenon. The final nail in the coffin for the 540 patent came from the district court's ruling that the claims around fetal DNA detection in paternal plasma serum were void due to lack of novelty and non-obviousness. The court argued that such dependent claims were merely conventional applications in the art. As a result, the patent's initial claims were left hanging, and the court's summary judgment ruling was affirmed in an intriguing battle over the challenging borderline of patent law and the discoveries of natural science. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.